Hopkinton High School welcomed runners from China. Students performed dances and songs to welcome the runners. Just a spark of an idea that the was given to the school superintendent, Kathy McLeod, and then a whole bunch of organizations came together that included uh, Golden Pond, Dynasty Restaurant, the entire Chinese community here in Hopkinton, and a whole bunch of other organizations came together, including the 26.2 Foundation, to put on this event that had not, it was such a, a warm welcome for our visitors from Shanghai and Beijing who are here to run the marathon, uh, and Dimitri Karyakides, who lives in Shanghai, who every, oh, a, lot of, a lot of you know his father won the 50th Boston Marathon and has a statue right outside of Western Nurseries dedicated to his father's win. And really, it was uh, the first warm welcome that was the group from China and Shanghai, they are really the guest of honors, and in having performances and food and a few short little speeches uh, was quite, it's been quite a warm event. Um, it was a surprise because uh, uh, Tim Kilduff and uh, Mike Nees of the 26.2 Foundation, of which I'm also a member, uh, they suggested they uh, talk to the principal uh, of the school and uh, they had the idea of uh, bringing the Chinese community uh, to, uh, to welcome us. So uh, it was a big surprise for us, so we, we loved it and of course it was a great event today. I'm here to Boston to enjoy this incredible, incredible atmosphere. I can honestly say because I'm involved with the international marathon movement and I go to many marathons around the world, that Boston is not only unique because of history, but the atmosphere is, uh, is something else. No other big marathon has got the same atmosphere. Because here in Boston, you have uh, three days of, of, of a big party in the city, you know, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, uh, where so many people come to enjoy this uh, the, the race. Mm -hmm.